Yo, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking into the different skills and classes your dog can unlock. So once your dog reaches stage 3, which is the awkward stage, your dog can unlock many classes that you can choose from. So let's get started. There's a lot of classes out there, but I'm only going over the coolest ones. Before we get started, we need to understand an important concept. You see, each dog is made up of different stats, such as perception, which involves the five senses and the awareness of the surroundings, intellect, which involves the critical thinking and the ability to solve problems, speed, which is how fast the dog can go, stamina, which is how long the dog can sustain at a given activity, and strength, which is the raw force a dog can exert, or also known as piss. Each dog has a variation of piss because they're all different. You see, this is caused by natural selection, which was discovered by Charlie Irwin a long time ago. Mm, I don't know how long ago because I wasn't alive at that time. So let's just say a long time ago. It's important to consider piss when choosing a class because different classes will rely on certain stats. So not all stats are the same. It just depends on the class. There are items out there that can help you buff some stats, so feel free to explore those options. But just don't go overboard. Keep it real. So now with that out of the way, let's get started. First we're gonna go over the Hunter. The Hunter is a cool class that uses high perception and speed to hunt down and track the prey down. What makes this class so awesome are the skills that it offers. Smell Sense is a skill that enhances the dog's nose and allows it to smell animals up to three miles away. If you combine this awesome skill with a skill precision, which highlights one target at a time, this is a super duper deadly combo that not many prey can escape, unless you're Abra and you use teleport. So moving on to the next skill, we got motion awareness. This skill allows the dog to sense any living creatures in a small area. As long as it's moving though. This skill is very useful to take down those sneaky tricky rabbits. So the next skill we got senses increased which is a skill that improves the sense of sight, hearing and touch by 20%. This is a nice skill that improves the dog's awareness and very useful to a hunter. So the last skill in this class is the most infamous skill known as random stuff. This skill allows the dog to bring random items to its owner. You might get lucky and pull the jackpot, or you might be the unlucky person. It's just luck. Overall, this is a really interesting class, and if you have an unexplicable desire for hunting, this is definitely the class for you. Moving on to the next class, we have the runners. This class focuses on speed, and stamina to outrun the competition or just escape from any trouble or danger. So the first skill is lightning pace. This skill increases the dog speed by 75% which makes it fast enough to outrun a cheetah. So this skill will see a lot of use. So the next skill we have lightweight. This skill decreases strength by 2 but increases stamina and speed by 1 each. This skill will tone down your dog, so if your dog needs to lose some weight, this is definitely the class to go for. It will save you some money and effort. Going to the next skill, we have Efficient Battery. A lot of phone companies have tried to implement this skill in their own cell phones, but even to this day, they haven't been that successful. Some of those phones turned out to be more than just a phone. So anyways, going back, the skill efficient battery lowers the energy needed to keep running at higher speeds, allowing your dog to keep running for much longer. So the next skill we have recovery. This skill recovers 80% of the energy that was wasted in the previous activity. This is a really helpful skill that will save you a lot of money so you don't have to refuel your dog again and again and again. So the last skill in this class is called maneuver. This skill allows the dog to quickly change directions 
without losing speed or control. So this is a really fast paced class and if your dog needs to lose some weight this is definitely the class to go for. Or if you want to save some money then choose this class. So now we're going over to my favorite class which is the guard dog. This class uses high strength and stamina to keep unwanted people or animals out. One of the versatile skills in this class is called Intimidate. This skill activates when anything trespasses the property. This skill gives the dog a high chance to scare away bigger creatures and people. And if this doesn't work, there's a backup skill called Steroid. This skill is a backup skill that activates when Intimidate doesn't work. This skill temporarily buffs the strength stat by 2, making the dog strong enough to take on any challenge. Except the Death Claw. So the next skill, this is definitely my favorite skill, it's called Reinforcements. When the dog is outnumbered, this skill allows the dog to summon another dog for assistance. The only drawback to this skill is that you never know which dog is going to get summoned. So it's just luck. So moving on, we have the skill Speed Boost. This skill increases the stat temporarily by 2. This is useful to deal with those speedy targets. This skill can only be activated once, so it should only be used when necessary. It will transform your slow poke to your Saiyan Bolt. The last skill is called Growl of Destruction. This skill makes a simple bark into one loud blast that's able to stun flying creatures. So this is definitely a powerful class that packs one heck of a punch. If you want some extra protection and you have a dog that's doing nothing, this is definitely the class to go for. Now that wraps all things for this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a good one.